it's out of here for paleo and concreting. I'm going to show you how to build out a wall that's been over excavated with a 30mm drain cell. So at the start, you want to measure the height, which is 570. On that first measurement, you want to take 30mm off. I'll show you why. So we've got our measurement of 570, take away the 30mm, which is 540, which is right there. We're just going to use a circular saw to cut through it. Now we're going to just measure the pins. On this kind of hard ground, I'm just going to allow an extra 100 mil on my measurement. Uh, we're going to allow four pins per sheet. So we've got two sheets there, so we're going to cut eight pins. Yeah? I want to cut one. This is the Oz chairs, which are 300. It's going to give us where we actually want to place this. So you just say that was your formwork where that paint is. You've got your odds chair there, that's 300 mil. You can go right on it, or you can come off just a little bit. It's really up to the concreter. Um, you'll see there's holes in the drain cell. So these pins can go straight down, like so. We're close to the odds chair. And we pin it just like that. I like to leave them just a little bit higher. You'll find out soon why I do that. So you just go along and do that. Um, leave four. So you'll see there's a joint in your drain cell. So I like to put one on either side of that joint. Down so. Make sure you're nice and close to your chair. Get your 300 mil. Cut them right, you should be able to join these up as you're going, just to make it a little bit stronger. Like so, we're putting our wall nice up straight, we're gonna come across the top. So we allow that 30 mil, so that drain cell is gonna actually sit on top of this drain cell and sit in the base, not on top of the base, it'll come straight into the base. So you may wanna measure from into the base to your base, which is 580 mil, 550, 540. So we'll just cut it at 550. That's the average size yeah, from the top. So the reason why we left our pins a little bit higher, what we do is we make these sit through these holes. Sometimes we might give them a little hit and kick. Like so, that just sits there nice. So now what we're going to do, we're going to get this measurement here and we're going to cut pins and we're going to go from A to B inside here through these holes. It's pretty simple, just get through these holes. Some concreters just leave it on top like that, which is good enough. Or if you can get a bite, I try and get it, I try and get it into the ground myself, but it doesn't always happen, as you can see. So yet again, it's the same as pinning. You want four on each sheet, two of where this joint is, just to make it extra bit stronger. See, not like the pods, this is stable, safe, and a good environment to work on. Hold the fill in so the concrete doesn't fill in there. So it's the same principle, just measure it up, cut it, put it in there, pin it. We cut it, we block the hole up, and now we just put two pins down there, like so.
So, that's all blocked up. As you see, we've laid the biax on top of the drain cell, sturdy as. The biax has got these holes in here. If you'd like to tie the actual drain cell to the biax for extra support. See the drain cell with the biax slab system. Neat, reliable, strong, safe. The main thing is safety. Look, jumping on it, it's not going anywhere. You can't do that on the pods. Also, this is the amount of rubbish we've got. That's it.